Gary, a tough watch today. What was your thoughts on that one? Listen, we all seen the conditions. The conditions were really poor today for both sides, by the way. Um, and I actually thought in the first half against the wind, we actually we were, were really good. Um, and we conceded a really poor goal for a long throw in into the box. Um, I think it was O'Neill gets across and gets a toe to it and ends up in the back of our net. And it's a poor goal when we were playing as well as we were, were considering it was it was such poor conditions and you know such a strong wind. Um, we hit the hit the bar, um, good chance, good bit of play. But on the whole, I thought in the first half we were really good um, and I thought we competed with them. But the story of the game of the day for me was we conceded two poor goals and made mistakes. They didn't, you know, and that's and that's why they're up at the top, and that's why they're they're challenging all fronts at the minute. They've won the league cup, um, they're pushing it up hard at the at the top of the league, and and obviously they're still in the Irish Cup, and and that's a difference, you know. We all we all associate Cliftonville with with lovely football, nice slick passing and and moving, but they come here today and they play the conditions, you know. They, they, they didn't play much football today, um, and I thought it was a game that on a whole there wasn't much in it. Bar, bar, bar two mistakes from us. Yeah, as you said, there was a bit of fortune for their first goal. I think it actually comes off a shin. Yeah, yeah, and it, it was frustrating. It, it, those things are frustrating for us. Um, as I say, it's a long throw in into the box, and we should be dealing with that with the, the players that we have. And again, it gets across, and, and as I say, you're saying it's hit his shin. I thought it was his toe at the time, but I haven't had the, the luxury of seeing it again. Um, but it's a really poor goal on our behalf to concede when we're doing so well against a, a strong wind, and, and maybe you go in at half time nil nil against the win then you, you take belief from that but we were going in 1-0 down against the top side they've obviously threw an extra defender on in the second half to defend it and as I say unfortunately for us we we, we, we give them an alerical um, you know cross into the box you know Joe Gormley's been one of the most prolific strikers in the Irish League for, for the last 15-20 years and he gets a free header at the back post you know when the ball's wide in wide areas like that um, people like Joe Gormley needs to be marked tight you can't you can't give him that space at the back post and if you do give him that, that space he hurts you and he, and he scores goals and, and, and that's what he's all about and as I say he done it last week in the, in the cup finally come on and scored two goals and today he scored another massive goal because that, that was a goal that probably probably killed the game off yeah. uh, You were coming in the touchline there at full time looked a bit frustrated would that prefer to say? Yeah I'm just frustrated because in a, in a whole I didn't think there was a much between the two sides uh, you know I thought we like if you take chances over the, over the 90 minutes you know Peters hit the bar in the first half, and Fitzy's had a good chance in the second half, and he's put it over the bar, you know. But in terms of chances, there was there wasn't a lot in the game, and you know, in terms of territory, I thought we were in their half a lot in the second half without really creating much or, or doing much and in the first half against the win I thought we were the better side so from that from that perspective it's, it's frustrating but as I say there's there's nothing can be done at the end of the day football's all about uh, about scoring goals and, and, and they scored two and we scored none and, and that's as simple of it and you know again as I keep referring to that's why they're top of the league or up near the top of the league pushing for it and, and probably why we're where, where we are uh, back on the road next week, tricky trip up to Korean. Um, I think we also played 120 minutes last week, and I think today, I think I'm right in saying they've, they've suffered defeat again. So, uh, a team who will be looking to bounce back as well. Yeah, listen, we're looking to bounce back. They'll be looking to bounce back. They're a good side, as we've known from from the last few years, uh, and they're 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 probably going through a transitional um, period. You know, they've lost a couple of players over the last couple of seasons, and and it happens. This has happened to us, you know, as well. Whenever we started losing the likes of your Sykes, your Joel Coopers, and and things like that it makes it difficult um, but as I say you know it's a it's a tough away game it's never an easy one but as I say we have to we have to go there and, and believe in ourselves and as I said even though we could beat 2-0 today I thought I thought we competed you know it wasn't as if Cliftonville played us off the pitch um, or they were the by far the superior team and by no stretch of imagination was that the case today but the difference was we made two two poor mistakes and they didn't and, and that's and that's the difference between the between the two sides today.